guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a little bit different than our usual you know video as you can see i have no makeup on but my hair is done so if you can already tell by the title and the beginning of this video then you will know that it is a hair video okay a hair tutorial i'm okay. basically and i told you guys in my last video that i will be doing a hairstyle and i told you guys to just leave a comment down below on what you what type of hairstyle you think that i'll be doing so yeah i did a bob like a lob it's not really a bob it's a lob a long bob um i'm contemplating if i want to sh cut her shorter but the only reason why i have her as this length is because i'm doing a particular style to it so yeah i basically show you guys how i do this hair how i got this hair from the beginning to the end um well not really the hair but how i install it from the beginning to the end ball cap method the whole nine yards the glue that i use and everything like i'm giving you guys all my secrets okay um but before we get into this video make sure to thumbs it up i can't stop looking at myself so cute before we get into the video make sure you thumbs up this video like comment subscribe do the whole nine yards okay okay i'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to just go ahead and subscribe if you come to my channel and you like to view my videos you like the content that i put out why not subscribe to my channel so that you are one of the first to know when i'm putting out another video like join my family let me know that you like what i'm doing and what the, the type of the type of type of content that i'm putting out for you okay let me know that you like it so go ahead and subscribe and once you have done that let's get into the video mm -hmm. is she cute she cute okay so i'm going to um i don't even know i just want to make sure that it's in the middle because when i apply it i want to make sure that it is in the middle i'm going to do the bald cap method this seems big but i promise once i flat iron it and everything it won't be as big and my bob i feel like i still need to cut some parts but i'm not going to cut it until i fully straighten it so that way i know like where i want to cut and stuff so i'm going to take this off i hate my head <laughs> I just do like I've never I've been wanting to shoot one of these type of videos forever but I just hate how small my head is but I'm really just worried about the wrong thing so I have my little cornrows going on my hair little cornrows going on I'm gonna push this back um I still have like some of the like gots to be on my hair and make sure that you have your um alcohol this is 91% I don't know if you guys can see it because, baby, this light is bright, but there we go. 91% alcohol. Um, I'm just going to take that and just place it around my hairline. Um, and I'm going to dab and not rub because, you know, alcohol usually, like, lightens up your skin. And once I dab that, then I take that and dab it across. I don't want to rub it. I just want to dab it. I still have a little bit of got to be for my last um, install the ones that you guys saw me have on my head when I was doing my Eid um, makeup tutorial and stuff so I'm going to rub my hands with a little alcohol that's on here to get rid of any excess oil and I'm gonna go into my got to be I also got this from Amazon as well It's the black got to be I like this one more than the yellow just because it's clear um, I feel like they both work the same honestly but I just like the fact that this one is clear so it dries clear but if you have oil on your hair it will turn it white so you just want to be careful and I'm only going to place a little bit because like I said I already have some on my head um, but just for the little hairs that may have started to you know f fly away or unattach from the gel from before I am making sure that those are in place because maybe we don't want to lose any edges okay I've already like some of my edges has already came out from like braids and stuff braids that were too tight so I'm just really trying to grow those back and that's why I wear wigs because my hair I have the type of hair texture where like not even hair texture but my hair is so like weak like so I forgot what I was saying because someone just called me but yeah, once I have this down, I want to make sure the oils on my hair don't get into this thing, but whatever. Once I have this down, I'm just going to blow dry it with a blow dryer. I put it on warm, like it has cool 
warm and hot i put it on warm and i blow dry it there and i blow dry it on high so i'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair and yeah Okay, so now once that's on there, some people, ugh, some people usually take the gods to be and they put that on their cap as well. I'm not doing that because that's just like mad work and I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to take this, pull it forward. So yeah, so the freeze, the got to be glued blasting free spray. I just take this and I place it on my hair. I put it a little bit above the hair, I'm um, like above the hairline as well because I want to make sure that the cap is on my hair and just like has protected like all of my hair. So I don't put it exactly on my wig cap, like on my actual hair. Like I don't know how to explain this. Like you guys see what I'm doing, okay? Like I, this is not what I do. So I don't know. But yeah, I just put it a little bit above my hairline. Um, I don't cut it like this far down. I usually cut it higher. But because like as you cut, the wig cap starts to lift, I put it a little bit below my hairline just so that it doesn't lift to my hairline. You get what I'm saying? You guys will understand once I'm cutting it. Okay, so that's dry. And the reason why I like to use Got To Be instead of using the, um, well, Got To Be spray instead of using the actual gels, because one, this takes a really long time for it to dry. And I just don't have time to wait for it. Like, I don't like to wait for it. And I just feel like for some reason, like, this just lasts on my hair longer than the gel does. Because, you know, technically it's a gel. So, like, if you sweat, the gel will start to reactivate. So, I feel like it makes my hair like my wigs come off quicker but when i do it with the got to be it really doesn't so yeah so i'm gonna take some scissors um these are like small scissors i like to use these because it's just easier for me to like maneuver with and then i'm just going to push this back up until it's like right before my hairline this doesn't hurt okay like pulling this back does not hurt um but like right before my hairline this area right here, I could push this back a little bit more right here too. Okay, so all that white part, I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, cut that. Boom. This process usually be taking me. And then this right here, I just take it and I tuck it into like my braids. And then what I do is I go in with scalp protector, walker taped 
um, scalp protector. It's for oily skin, sports, swimming, hot and humid weather, improves adhesion for those things. Um, it prevents irritation from tape and adhesives. So if you're someone who um, has like irritation I and you get irritation a lot, I would suggest to get a scalp protector because one, I feel like it actually does make the hair, like your um, wig application last longer and it definitely does protect your hairline. So I am just going to go ahead and press that. The applicator is kind of weird, like it's a pressing type of technique. And I also feel like you see like that lifting part, the parts that lifted and they had the clear part, it reattaches those parts like back onto your um, scalp. So I put it a little bit above, like basically where I would want my glue to be at on my hair. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna go in. Oh, and when I was drying my wig cap, I put my, um, my blow dryer on cool i did not press this cool thing because you don't want it to be too cold but you don't want it to be too warm either or else it's not going to adjust i mean to dry so you kind of in the middle and i feel like the cool setting on the blow dryer does it perfectly so i keep it on cool and i'm just going to dry this i don't know where my camera cut off that but you guys already saw the cap and everything all i did was take some foundation i took my can't stop won't stop foundation and i took that and put it on my wig cap as well as my lace I, yeah okay so i'm gonna put the work on this side first so i really just fold it back like so i'm going to take a little bit more alcohol and i'm gonna place that just on the area right outside of where the um scalp protectant is the scalp protectant also has alcohol in it so even if you go over it it won't 100 percent remove it unless you're like sitting there and rubbing it so the glue that i'm using is ghost bomb supreme i like ghost bomb supreme and not the regular or anything supreme just works so good for me like I just love it like I just feel like whenever I use go spawn supreme my installs last me so long when I first used to do frontals and stuff it would never last me no more than like three or four days the sides would start to lift but with supreme I can really get two weeks like a full two weeks where my wig still looks good before I can take it out and sometimes even when it's time for me to take it out it's still on my head so I like that I'm able to take my showers it can be hot outside or whatever and it still looks good um so I'm just going to go ahead and push this back even further and we're going to take some and I'm going to place it right on where we cut the, um, the cap at. Okay. Just want to quickly go into and take your rat tail comb or whatever you want to use a popsicle stick or whatever. I'm placing this like where my skin protectant is. And a little bit onto my cap as well. And you just want to spread this until it's like starts to get clear and it just has like a smooth base. But you do want to move quickly and make sure that the other parts don't begin to dry. Then I'm going to go back in with the second layer. I do three or four layers because I sweat a lot. I'm a really hot person, so I make sure to put three or four layers. Once we have that all smoothed in, I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer, put it on cool, and I'm going to press cool. Like, I'm going to go in between not pressing this cool button right here, which makes it colder, and pressing it, okay, to make sure that this is dry.
Y'all, I don't know where this thing done cut off at, but basically what I'm doing is This is dry enough for me, okay, like I said on that other one. So now I'm going to put down the middle first. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our comb and just comb this in. Okay. And then I'm gonna blow dry it to set it and then we're gonna cut the ear out and blow dry it again. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ear out. So now, part out the ear portion. You just wanna feel it to just make sure it's like right in the corners of your ear. And when it gets to like the top of my ear, I leave it, I make like enough lace so it sits like right behind my ear. So it's not literally right above my ear. You don't see like no cap or anything because that's not cute, baby. So, go ahead and cut. I feel like it's better for you to cut and then have to cut more then you to cut more and like maybe like once you cut the lace the lace is gone the lace is not coming back like that's it that's it so right here i can put my ear over that part and i know that i gotta cut a little bit more right here so i'm just gonna go in and cut that extra So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. I'm going to cut it into sections because this is easier for me to do on this side.
So the application part is finally done. It took forever and a day, but we're finally done with that part. So now what I'm going to do is, then I'm going to take my band, an elastic band. I got this from Amazon. It came in like a fat ass roll. Um, hopefully I can find the link to it and I'll leave it down below as well. I'm going to take out the parts that I know that I want to be, you know, kind of part of my edges. And just because I'm taking this much hair out does not mean this is exactly the amount of hair that I'm going to be using for my edges. I just want to have these out just because it's going to be easier for them to mold into the baby hairs um, once I place the band on it. So I'm going to take this, roll it up. This looks so crazy. I hold it in my mouth. <laughs> make sure that it's tight on my head because this is what gives your lace like that extra like meltdown so while that is sitting there I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut my hairs I'm gonna cut them shorter like once you know it's time for me to really do my edges I like to use mousse. The mousse that I use is a styling foam. This is the Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. I like to use this. All right, so this is it. Yes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too lengthy. I hope it was easy to follow along. Um, if you guys enjoy like hair tutorials and stuff like that, then give me a big thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, and leave a comment down below on any suggestions of hairstyles or anything that you would like for me to do. I hope it wasn't that hard for you guys to follow along. But yeah, um, you guys will be seeing a video most likely tomorrow of me, you know, styling my makeup and everything and how it looks like that. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.